Welcome to MS Tech Hub. This is the continuation of validation series. In our previous video, we have seen that how we have validated a field using required attribute and the validate function. In this video, we are going to discuss about the validate function and its properties like rules and messages and some of others are available. In this video, we are going to discuss about rules. Here we are going to discuss about a required number and email rules. Let's flip to Visual Studio. We had validated the, the fields using this required attribute. Now we are going to remove this attribute and we are using some different option. So in our previous video we have seen that we have added this validate function. Now we are going to use some attribute of this function this validate function having rules property so here in this property we have to pass the json of our all the properties so now we are going to define the first name the first name over here on the first name we have to make this field required and also for the last name we are also making the last name required And for the email, and address. Now we have validated all the five fields on our form. Now let, let's check. Here in the in the browser, now we are having our five fields, first name, last name, phone number, email and address. Now when we submit the form, so we are having the, the validation on our form, on all the fields. So now the thing is that when we when we add anything in the phone number fields so it is accepting now in the in the now in the phone number field our field can accept any value and it is saying that it is valid but that's not true we must have to keep the phone number field accepting only numeric values so for this we have to add another valid validation to the phone number its number And save check in the browser just refresh just refresh the form and when we type anything and submit please enter a valid number so now the problem is our form is not accepting it is saying that it is not valid so it is accepting only the number that's true that's fine but the problem is we have to change we want to change the, the this message actually to do that we have to define another attribute 
messages. And we have to define the custom message for this phone number only. Not for required, we are accepting valid phone number. So now refresh the form and submit the form and provide an any numeric value it is accepting the numeric value now and when we submit any alphabet value so it is saying please enter a valid phone number the problem is in our email field so our email field can accept any non email value so now we have to place the email validation on our email field. So where is our email field? Here we have to provide the email validation on our email form. Just uh, refresh the form and submit the form. So now it is saying that the field is required. So when we enter any invalid email address, it is saying please enter a valid email address. And when we enter a valid email address, the error message has gone. And it is saying that the field is valid. So let's check once, uh, once fill our complete form. An inspect element open the inspect element open the console so it is saying the form is false when we submitted the form is invalid if the form is invalid when we submit it is returning the false what is returning the false the function the function the valid function what we have in on click button but when the form is valid and when we submit the form what it is returning it is returning the true so that now this function the valid function form dot valid function we can use on any if statement In this video we have seen the required validation number and email validation. Thanks for watching.